my father was an activist in the Solidarity Movement, which was a workers' rights movement in the 80s in Poland uh, against the Soviet Union regime. And my father was actually a mechanical engineer working at a factory designing art artillery. And around the times when Lev Wałęsa, the activist in Poland, in northern Poland, started his shipyard strikes, my father also also led strikes in his factory in southern Poland. That got quickly shut down by martial law, and the movement was deemed illegal, of course, so the movement went underground. So my father was an activist in the underground movement. He didn't have a job because he was blacklisted from starting the strikes in his factory. So he was really full-time an underground activist, and he was the photographer for the movement, unofficial photographer. So he try to document as much as he could of the movement. The police was out, was after him for quite a long time because they knew that he was documenting in some way um, until the point where he was in jail. My mom was put in jail and then the government said you could either stay in jail or we could give you political asylum to move to America. So he moved to America with my mom and my sister who was one years old at the time and they had two suitcases. One was full of my sister's baby clothes and diapers and the other one was full of film, negatives that my father took of the whole movement. And when I was growing up in middle school, um, my father was telling me the stories of solidarity, solidarity and the workers rights union and internet was just starting. It was very limited of what you could search on the internet. Whenever I'd search solidarity on the internet, I could find barely anything about the movement, but I saw that there were professors at universities that were interested in the end of the Cold War and the solidarity movement that had very little documented at the time. My, my father said, well, you know what? I took photographs during this time. So I sorted through the boxes in the basement and found the negatives. So we bought a machine that connected the negative, it was a negative reader and, and the whole movement came alive on the screen on the computer. I saw the different strikes. He took pictures of the strikes in a panoramic way. So we got the whole 360 view. So I started contacting professors who are interested in this specific movement and have actually been quoted saying there's very little documentation of this movement. And a professor, Mark Kramer at Harvard, who's a professor in Eurasian studies, was highly interested in putting together an exhibit of these photographs. So we came to meet with him in the earlier years of my high school. And my first year at Harvard, we curated an exhibit called the Olenka Jerzy Polak Collection. It was the 30 year anniversary of martial law in Poland. And it was my father's photographs. We donated the collection to Harvard. So now there's an archive of his photographs at Harvard. And, and now if you search online, there's much more about the movement due to my father's documentation of it.